ok, so starting the puzzle, I start with the edges. And that may not be the very best idea, good idea, since they are all solid color with very small variation of it. Yeah, but I really wanted to see how big will uh, a bag, a puzzle from a bag will be. And also I want to test the quality of the piece because and the variation of the shapes because you can see that very clear when using the shape to puzzle and not uh, the color. And I was uh, quite impressed. It's really, really uh, good quality. So yeah, the edges were uh, a battle, but I win that battle. <laughs> well, I won that battle, as you can see. So next up were the blueish pieces, just because they were fewer than the other trains, and it also. I thought they would be a lot easier and yeah, I kind of managed to do them pretty fast. Hello there, so today is uh, Wednesday and it's the second day of the uh, bag A from the giant puzzle and I think I did a pretty good progress yesterday and yeah i'm not sure if i will be able to finish it until monday <laughs> to actually post the video but uh, we'll see about that and i just want to make a quick update so i sorted the pieces um, um i sorted the pieces uh while watching TV because I get bored really easily when sorting the pieces and I think I did a pretty good job actually I am missing only a piece from the edge uh, yeah so I almost thought I had them all but I'm, it seems like I'm missing a piece I hope it's a missed uh, sort and I will be able to uh, well actually find it um, uh, in the other trays yeah so the sorting was a little bit tough uh, the image is very dark and that that makes the puzzle difficult <laughs> so I sorted like uh, the pieces that had some blue then uh, the one with the skies and they were kind of purple and pink I have all of the fire red uh, um, orange pieces in a tray and then all the other pieces besides the edges was okay this is pretty uh, solid color let's put it in a tray and this uh, seems to have some texture on it so it may belong to the avengers because well you know <laughs> we only have avengers in this puzzle yeah, so I am uh, kind of, um, I don't know what to say, a little scared about all that solid uh, pieces, but as I done the edges and it's kind of the same color, I noticed that uh, uh, the pieces are in a unique shape, a very unique shape, so you can easily tell if uh, you put it in the right spot or not. I had a problem with one piece. But if uh, I wasn't looking very close to it and I was a little tired, so yeah. But they are in a unique shape. And also, uh, as they said on the box, they really are... Um, um, you can pick them up. And that's very, very, very helpful. The thing that you can... Uh, the fact that, that, that you can put them up, it's very helpful. So, right now... Let me show you progress here. So we have the, the one with the texture pieces. I still have some sky-ish. 
here are the red pieces and here are the solid pieces a lot of solid pieces and this is the image that i am actually doing right now so i kind of got this i kind of got this part and all from here i got this uh, thing done and right now i will try to make uh, this uh, this uh, part uh, to put it together using the reddish orange pieces so yeah and i see what i can do today and i'll come in a chicken tomorrow so happy puzzling everyone friends today is thursday and it it will be the third day of the first bag of the giant my of the giant puzzle and i have three more days to finish it in order to be able to put the video um on monday and i still don't know if i will be able to do it but we'll see so let me show you the progress that i have from yesterday so as you can see i started on that red pieces <laughs> and i have those parts pushed together and this little thing here and that's about it but looking at the image, I think that I finished all these parts and these parts. I also managed to actually um, connect them to the edge. So that's very awesome. And for today, I want to do this part that are um, still some kind of uh, very uh, bright and I think uh, I have pieces here and yeah I hope I can finish those today and after that I want to tackle the sky a little from here those parts that have texture and then put uh, get all the pieces with textures that I have for the Avengers and try to build them and at the last day I will have the solid color so that's my plan but let's see how this will go and actually I want to say that the quality is really nice so since I was able to put the first round together the remaining pieces just flew in like so easily i was surprised and also it was so satisfying like i just pick a piece and i really know how where to put it because it's some kind of gradient here and it was really 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 nice like the feeling of it is nice yeah and we are getting there i don't have very much after two days but let's see how i end after this day so let's go to puzzle now
again. So, let me show you the progress I have after a week as I posted the image on the community tab as well. So, I managed to find a little of this hulk and this should be connected with this but I am missing those pieces, I can find them right now. Also, I connected this. This uh, character is almost done, I am missing a piece. And here I almost did the Iron Man and this connected with the Hulk face. And I have something more here, some of them. I also decided to move the puzzle from the big uh, foam board that I have to the small one. This is my small foam board. And I usually do 500 or 1000 species on the foam board. For 1000 it barely fits. It's like exact uh, the exact dimensions. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this one still has some um, space left. Yeah, and each bag has 1,500 pieces and it's the size of the actual the 1,000 piece. So I have here, this, this, uh, those are pieces from this puzzle that I'm working on, the giant one, and these are 12 uh, pieces, 500 puzzle. So you can see the difference right here how big these are and how small those are and that's that was a surprise for me and that's why the um, assembling is going much slower than i was expecting because the pieces are small so the small the piece uh, the smallest the piece uh, is the hard is actually to put it together because the details uh, the amount of details on the piece is smaller because the piece is small, but I do think I have a really good progress It's um, it's very fun and Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. It's really fun. The pieces are um, the f piece shape has enough vi v v Variety to make you um, Enjoy it and I really love it and yeah, so I'm working on this. So this is the image I should have at the end. And this is how much I have right now. I'm getting there. I also managed to find those pieces and connected this thing here. And the thing is that I said that the um, pieces for... Uh, the solid color pieces are um, will be hard, but let me show you here. Let's see. So this piece has a bit of a red here, and this is brown. And I was I keep using that detail. I knew it would be here at this uh, line or maybe at this line or this line because this I have uh, here I have red so the color is varied enough to be able to tell where to put the pieces and I decided also to move the puzzle on my puzzle table in another room because the room I uh, was starting this uh, puzzle was not uh, so uh, it doesn't have a not uh, light i think and the puzzle is not um, bright the colors are not very bright it's a little bit dark and it's very hard if you don't use a very good light and you are in a room with that doesn't have uh, much natural uh, light it's very hard to distinct the details on the puzzle piece so i decided to move it <laughs> yeah and now i hope that 
in another week this one will be ready but uh, it looks amazing i am so happy with it and i can't wait to have them all assembled and put it on the wall yeah so let's puzzle and make another good progress today happy puzzling again everyone Hello puzzle friends and welcome uh, back. I am very excited because I just finished the first uh, bag of the giant puzzle and it was a journey. First thing, it took me longer than I expected. I will um, calculate hours before using the footage and uh, the videos that I made and I will put the time in here. Okay. Oh, here <laughs> when well, I find the place when I'm editing it yeah but I learned a lot of things yeah I now I'm I hoping those things will actually um help me to do the um other bags um, uh, much faster yeah and you no know, here it is the final image 
And I must say, when I first opened the bag and I saw the pieces, besides the fact that they are uh, tiny, tiny little pieces, um, it was like, wow, this is so dark. You know, I have some pieces, uh, very, um, not very uh, much pieces that had a little of uh, brightness in them, like, I don't know, this... Uh, blue uh, which is more bright but it only for the half of a pieces half of a piece and <laughs> i didn't expect it to actually look so great and it doesn't seem that dark when you so when you saw it complete but for the pieces i had a lot of dark ones but the thing is, it ha every dark piece has a little bit of texture, so you actually can differentiate where it goes when you are looking closer to it. So this kind of puzzle, you need to do it in a um, very bright room where you have um, a lot of windows. <laughs> this room where I am filming now, this, and uh, where I when I where I have my uh, puzzle table has four windows I think yeah so filming uh, not filming but trying to do this at night it's much harder because you can't um, see all the tiny details um, uh, mostly on those dark color pieces yeah so <clears throat> as I was uh, uh, saying I had a lot of fun with it and I am so um, Curious to <clears throat> open the next bed. Um, and I made a poll on the community, and the majority for now is um, the uh, um, so the next bed to be the B1. And yeah, I am super excited to actually open it. But I'll wait until I will post this video and then I will see the majority of it. Yeah. So it is a lot of fun. You really need to do it at daylight because it's much easier and it's more easy to see the details. And I definitely recommend it. The quality is really great. The variety is perfect so you can put the pieces in the actual place i don't know if it is a good idea to um, <clears throat> actually mix the bags because i'm expected that uh, the next bag to be the same cut as this one is but we'll see when i will finish that and yeah, for now I'm very happy. It's a very interesting project, and I also um, uh, found a video with a very nice idea of how to actually frame this. So yeah, I found an idea that you can frame a puzzle and actually change the puzzle you are displaying, and that's very very nice and i really want to try it but first i need to finish this beauty like all the puzzles so i made one i have eight to go so i should stop talking and actually do the next one <laughs> no yeah so until next time i am super glad you are joining uh, you are um, supporting me in the journey so until next time i want to just say stay safe and as always happy puzzling everyone